Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video we're playing with Lego, or we could update the RF module. What do you think? So this seems to be another issue that keeps popping up quite a few places, and that is how to update the RF module. So I've done a video already on updating the firmware and how you sort out the SD card and the flash memory. So I'll put a video link up in the corner if you are interested in that. But today we'll look at actually updating the RF module. So first of all, it would help if we actually had the RF firmware. So what I'm gonna do is go to the products area and the tandem series and next what we're going to do is pick our transmitter so i have the x20s but if you have the x20 you would choose that one of course when the hd comes out you would choose that one and likewise any future models they'll always be listed here too so what we're going to do is just go to the download section so what we're going to do is look at this list here and find our rf firmware for the tandem module now, if we open this up, we can look and see different versions. And the latest version is 2.1.8. There was a bug in uh, below that version. So if you're not running 2.1.8, I highly recommend that you download it and update. So what I'm going to do is just click download. Go on my desktop. And what we'll do is we'll come back once that file's downloaded. OK, so before we go any further, let's have a look at uh, how to find out what firmware you currently have now apologies for the graininess of this it's extremely bright outside and i'm having issues getting the lighting sorted that reminds me i was out flying somewhere screen is crazy bright as well so let's turn that down sorry the touch screen at this angle is really difficult to use but what we're going to do is go into info and what we're looking at is the uh td ISRM module here and you can see I'm already on version uh, 1.2.8 so I'm at the latest version but I'll still just show you the process on this transmitter so we know that if you've got 2.1.7 here or less you really really need to do this update but what we'll do we'll just power off the transmitter um, hold down the enter button and then give it a quick click and we're in bootloader mode. Next thing that we're going to do is just plug the USB cable in over here and then everything else will be done on the computer. Okay, so we're back at the desktop. As you can see over here, the transmitter's plugged in with the USB. Everything's good to go. We have our file here that we downloaded from the FreeSky site. And now what we need to do is put that file onto our transmitters. So what we want is our file explorer, which we have here. And I'll drag that over to this side just so we can get a, a nice clean view of it. And what we need to do is find our SD card for the transmitter. Now, I've renamed my SD card to say um, X20S SD, so it makes it really nice and simple. But if you have two of these USB drives, one will be the SD card, the other will be the internal flash memory. So if we go to this PC, the easy way to find out which is by looking at the size. So you can see this one here, it has a size of just under eight megabytes, so 7.73 in this case and the SD card has a much larger size. I believe the standard, it's a four gigabyte card you get with the transmitter. I've actually updated, what uh, upgraded mine, so I have a 32 gigabyte card in there, but you'll be looking for around three gigabytes and that will be the SD card. If you're really unsure, you can take a look. In uh, the flash drive at the moment is just bitmaps in there, but if you go into the XD, cards you will have radio.bin models and bitmaps you may not have firmware so what we're going to do is actually add these files to update our module so i like to try and keep my transmitter organized so i actually made this firmware folder inside there i have a transmitters folder and then i have the x20 uh, isrm which is the td module so if we open up the zip file inside there's another folder so we can go into that 
and there's the readme file which has the update information so you can see it's it's got notes about why it's updated what it's compatible with and how to update the module but what i'm going to do is just drag this file onto the sd card now this is the same file but i'll okay it i did have one question in uh the previous video about updating the um the firmware about unzipping because we've opened the zip file up and we're going through the folders when you drag and copy that file across it actually extracts the file from the zip file and then just saves it as a separate file uh, so you don't really need to extract the zip file before you go into it but anyway the file is now on our transmitter so we can go back to the transmitter to do the rest of the process okay so of course the first thing to do is unplug the uh, usb cable and then switch off the transmitter and then we'll power on normally into um, the actual transmitter so we'll get rid of our warnings and what we're going to do is go into system and what we want is file manager so i'll use the scroll wheel so it's easier for you guys to see but we go down to the firmware folder that we created into transmitters and x20 isrm or, or whatever you name it and you can see right there is the firmware file that we've just copied across now what you want to do is just press enter and then flash internal module so click that and that's it the process will start so it's now going through flashing the uh, tandem module and that's it process is done now if we back out if we go into info you should see that your version number down here will have updated if you don't see anything here i should have actually mentioned this before it's because the module is actually turned off so either load a model that you've got the the, um, the rf system turned on for or just go in and turn the rf system on and then you'll get that information up but anyway i hope this video was helpful I've seen you know, uh, quite a few people with the question on how to do this update. So I hope you're all sorted now. Uh, if you did like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And remember also, please subscribe and click the bell icon to help get this video out to more people so they can learn how to update the TD module too. Thank you very much, guys. See you on the next one. Fly your models like you stole them.